What's going on guys? And today I got another book review for you guys. And the book we're actually going to be reviewing has cracked my top 10. Yes, this book is actually very good. I thoroughly enjoy this book. So it says a lot. I've been through a lot of different books. So I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna stay through this whole book review. But nonetheless, let's stop with the suspense. What book am I reviewing today? That is Live Wired by David Eagleman. So hold on, stick tight. Let's get this book review started. So if you are new to the channel, or maybe you're not new to the channel, nonetheless, I've got a thing for the mindset and how the mindset works. And essentially the cornerstone of any mindset, you would have to read this book called Mindset by Carol DeWick. And for those people who have never read that book, I've actually done a book review on it. And it ultimately, just to summarize it, right? It ultimately is just talking about the brain, the mind, and having a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. And it goes through a lot of different good examples in that book between the differences, and that just really opened up my mind. So after reading that book, I actually started looking for other books. And to be honest, there wasn't a lot of books. A lot of books got too much in the weeds, and it got too detailed that it kind of just lost you in the details. And I don't know about you, but you know, I do like the mind and I have read those books and it is intriguing to me, but some people, you know, sometimes you just want those books that you can get like just a top down view and get a good understanding of what's going on without getting too involved in the weeds. And, and in doing so, I've, I, again, I read a couple other books. They were good, don't get me wrong, but this book, it is essentially based off of the plasticity of the brain and when our brains essentially harden, right? Because you get these ideas about, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You've heard this many times before, but the truth of the matter is you can, but it does take a lot more effort. And that's what this book essentially opens up your mind to is the fact that you, you can change. And it goes even into the fact that, you know, when you are a kid, and why you essentially absorb everything that you are deal with, right? That you come across in life. And then when you get older, it, it essentially tells you that you, your brain is still plastic. It's not as plastic, but it is still plastic. And that's what I really liked about this book because it gave you different periods in your life where a, a, like per se a child's development is really keen, especially if it comes to like accents and stuff. It kind of, it goes in that detail about you have specific windows for learning specific things. That's why children can learn different languages so much quicker at a younger age, but at an older age, it is again, much harder. Not to say that it can't be done. And I think that's what I really like about this book is that it really shows you just how agile the mind is and to really you know adapt to the environment that we are in today that is ever ever changing right you have to have that that growth mindset you have to have the understanding that your brain can change yes it is it is painful with the older you get because your brain learns these things and that's why it tends to harden a little bit so that you don't have to think as much and you relax more there's not so much more stress there's a bunch of other different reasonings behind this and this book gets into all that stuff and that's what i really liked about it is it it helps you focus on the fact that you can still grow and it gives great examples about losing an appendage and what your what your wiring essentially does with that part of the brain. It's not like your brain just goes dead. It, it essentially uses every part of it. If it feels that that part of the brain isn't being used, it figures out something else to essentially fill that gap. And that is what really intrigued me. And so just the, the concept of the whole thing, the way the brain works and trying to apply that to life right? Like you have to be agile. You have to be able to adapt whatever voids coming into your life. You have to learn, adjust on the fly and adapt to it and fill that void with something else in your life. Now I talk about always trying to fill that thing with a positive thing, right? And in that way you can essentially take two steps forward as opposed to taking two steps backwards. 
And so this book really just, it kind of, it changed my perspective. And I guess that's why I cracked the top 10 in my books because it changed my perspective. And it's, I've, I've realized the more books that I've read nowadays that it is hard to find those books that are different. This book is different. It changes your perspective on the way things are with the mind, especially if you're a person that feels like you don't have a growth mindset and that there's no way that you're essentially fixed with the mindset that you have and there's no way you can fix it. This brain, I mean, this, is, this book is coming from a neurologist. So he gives you the concepts and ideas of what's really going on there and in the wiring of your brain and how it adapts. It, it, the mind is just the body, right? We, we don't know a lot about the body, a lot about the brain and it just adapts. Right? If you could just apply that concept to life in general, about adapting when you have gaps in your life and filling it with positive things and, and not seeing it as such a loss, but a gain. And this book really brings that perspective, at least when I read it, it brought that perspective to light. And so again, I was, it was one of those books I picked up and I, I wanted to keep reading again, because it didn't go like really again deep into the weeds and a lot of times you start getting in there and start messing around talking about all the different circuitry in there and it can be hard it can lose you and again i've read those books and sometimes it was it was kind of just like charlie brown teacher right wah 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 and you're <laughs> you're just trying to get through the book it loses you you have to stop you have to replay if this is not one of those books this is one of those books that, that keep you like man i didn't even think about that and it, it really makes you look at the world in a different light and again one of those books are few and far between this again is one of them top 10 probably even close to the top five, to be honest. It was, it was that good of a book. So Live Wired, I will actually leave this book down in the description because I feel it is extremely important. It's, it's one of those must read books, I think, for anybody out there, especially if you're going through a tough time and you feel like maybe you're, you're having, especially a tough time in academics at all, and you feel like you're just not getting it. This book kind of opens up your mind to this thing that, you know, you just, you gotta lay the pathway and you gotta fill your mind with that one thing. If you focus on that one thing, it, it really does help. You can make progress. And that's ultimately what this book's about. And again, why, why I love this book. So remember, if you do enjoy this video, to hit the like button on the way out. Till next time, I will see you guys later.